Hello, hello, hello. Welcome, welcome. So today uh, we'll do a brief introduction to Xcode and uh, Swift and Swift Playgrounds. So first let's go ahead and open up Xcode. So find Xcode where you have it installed. Um, the quickest way to uh, launch the application. So click on command space bar and type in Xcode. If you don't have Xcode installed, where you could find Xcode is by opening up the App Store application and searching for Xcode. And you go ahead and you'll install. Currently, I have Xcode installed, so there's no reason for me to install it again. Hey, it just says open. So if you have it open already, or rather installed already, you could launch it by, again, uh, command spacebar and type in Xcode and press enter. So this is going to run the application and launch the application. So currently this is Xcode here. To find out what version of Xcode you're running, you could click on the Xcode um, icon here in the menu bar and click on about Xcode it will tell you you're running Xcode version 12.3 here, which is the most recent version of Xcode. All the things you could do, I could go to file, I could create a new Swift Playgrounds, which is what we'll be doing today. You could create a project, projects you could create. You could create an iOS project. You could create a Mac OS project, watch OS, TV OS. Those are the projects you could create. If you're looking at this video, you're probably interested in creating iOS applications. So later we'll see what creating iOS applications look like. But today it's a brief introduction into Xcode, which is the IDE, the integrated development um, environment that we use as software engineers to write our code. And the code we write in Xcode for iOS development is Swift. Before Swift, we used Objective-C. So I'll go ahead and cancel this. I'll go back to file. I'll go to new. So file, new. I'll go to Swift or playgrounds here. I'll select playground. So we could open up a new, a blank playground, which is what we'll be doing today. And I'll click on, so we have iOS selected and blank playground and I'll go ahead and click next. It will ask me to save my playground somewhere. Here, I'll just say first Swift playground. And I'll go ahead and click create. So I saved it on the desktop. You could go ahead and save it wherever you want. I'll click create. And now I have a Swift playground opened. So this is what you'll see as you open the Swift playgrounds. Um, let me so I could make the font bigger here, which I will do. If you want to make your font bigger, you could go to Xcode, go to preferences. And currently I'm on default dark. You could go presentation dark, which is slightly bigger. You could, um, there's a lot of customizations you could do, right? So here I just select presentation dark to make the font slightly bigger. So it's easier for you to see. And now we are in a Swift environment. This language is Swift on line one. So here we see the line numbers for the code that we're working on. Um, other things we could see here is there's a play button. We'll get to, actually, let's, go, let's just go ahead and click. We could click the play button here. We could also click the play button here. So what does the play button do? The play button basically runs your code. So let's go through this um, briefly. On line one, it says import UI kit. UI kit is the framework which we use for user interface development in iOS. Um, it's a library that um, also has classes, which we'll get into later, um, along with uh, functionality for creating user interfaces. So for now, we'll just keep UI kit here, but um, really, we probably just need foundation um, with what we're doing today. Foundation, again, is a framework 
that has um, arrays, dictionaries, which we'll get into um, access there. So currently um, I have one line on line three, it reads var, what is var? Var is basically a variable, it stands for variable. Um, the str here or string, it stands for, an, it's a name. So basically it's a name of the variable. So the name of this, this variable is string or str and we have an equal sign here. So basically what this code says is this variable, it holds a string. So think of a variable here as a container. So it's going to hold this string literal, which is called hello playground. So anywhere I want to access str, I could just call it. Um, this is a function, print is a function. So now print is basically, it's a way of communicating back to the console or to, um, to the user or to the developer, in that case, the developer, because the user won't see this if we're doing a real application. But if I want to see what um, str stands for or holds, because it's a variable, I could put in str here, because now str refers to this particular string. So if I go ahead and execute this function, which is a, a function, it's called print, and I want to say, go ahead and print me what this variable holds. In this case, if I want to see the output of my code, I would click on the play button here. And right now it says running first Swift playgrounds. So this is running my code for any errors. In our case, we have no errors. So now in the console, which is where hello playground got printed, right? This is the console. As I clicked play, it showed me the output of my code. So this basically is this. So I could, um, for example, I could create a next variable called name. In name, I could put my name. And I could also go ahead and print my name. So if I had, if I, again, I could play here, I could run my code on line 10, or I could also stop the playgrounds in the console right here. And I could click on the play button the play button will also run the code. In our case, we have two print statements. We have the first print statement, which prints um, SDR, which is Hello Playground. And now we have um, Alex Paul, which is my name, getting printed on line nine, okay? So this is a brief introduction to Xcode and the Swift language and running a Swift Playgrounds. So there's more content um, you could get access to um, on my YouTube channel. So if I navigate over to my YouTube channel for a second, I'll show you what my content looks like. For more of an introduction into the Swift language. One second. Okay, so here is my YouTube channel. It's my first name last name NYC here. So Alex Paul NYC on YouTube. And here you'll see a variety of playlists. So since we got introduced to Xcode and um, what Swift looks like as far as running Swift in playgrounds, you could now navigate to the playlist here and you could navigate over to Swift. And in Swift, in the Swift playlist, I would start off by working my way from Swift the basics to Swift basic operators, keep working your way from basically um, video 13, 12, 11, all the way to the most recent video, which is enumerations here, um, enums, methods, and properties. But I would start off by 
working through Swift the basics and keep going through this there. Okay, so thank you for watching this introduction to Xcode and Swift playgrounds. Bye-bye and stay safe.